out on my ticket now. Come on, what you got for me? Okay, I learned inside on Clifford for us. special day if you want me to ask. We're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? Soon it'll be time for you to come out into the real world. I promise. And then we can have a real party. Well, happy birthday. Three kilograms of crypto buyouts to Capital Not City that I can't submerge. Alright. Don't forget, that container isn't airtight. You can't afford to submerge it, even partially. Alright. stored on site and transferred it to the capital not city distro center as for the not so good news Cairo printers are currently unusable due to the network instability given the circumstances you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance but I'll leave that up to you Sam I'm sure you'll come through for us you always do
good. I like how they give a shit. Not a single fuck to give. Not a single fuck to give. Hmm. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't know how to talk to him again. No one's put a gun in the battery. There's a fucking group of dicks. This close by.
in the motherfucking desert. You know what? Fuck this. No, no, not defeat. Run the fuck. God, fuck, fine. Fuck you, game.
Scarcasals. Ha! Ah, yes, you did it, Sam! Oh, I could kiss you, you sweet son of a bitch! I thought it was all over. That's no one. Is that not it? I thought it was right here. Or like, okay, fool, I need to go to someone else. What's that? Like?
Snipe that guy. Oh. Mining look like a game. Hmm. Let's kill all Chrome. See that helps. And with any luck, it'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet. You did well, Sam. back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The great deliverer. The only one who can reach Amelie's beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, Hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. 
Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but... She wants you. Wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, -E and this is her end game. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. Is that about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though, quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. Hey, why you know motherfuckers count me the fuck in? As well make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still, if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. <sighs> well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Ow. Nothing lasts forever, that. not even Ow. the world. Then your knees. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. I haven't met you any long, though. Obviously. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health.
Okay, concentrate. Help me look for Amelie. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her! I can just open, I can just save it anytime. God fucking damn it. I thought I could only have to start at save points now. I'm a f- This is a one on one. Sam. Okay, he says. There you are.
fucking buddy you don't baby me. I do some red. And bridges falling down, falling down, falling down, and bridges falling down, my fair lady. The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. 
You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I knew you'd come back. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you, right here, ever since. You were supposed to stop me, stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been? Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. To wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget, those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot, one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So. That brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. I like that. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame wings out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyway. Not as enthused while got your ass. Then there's the second choice. 
In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain. Knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope, or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? us whole again and when the time comes you'll have to stop me you are the only one who can promise you'll remember Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach I remember you knew you always knew I did and I didn't I had so many dreams of the future know which ones to trust which is why I decided to share them with you and the others but to connect the dots to make sense of everything you need perspective you need time time has no meaning to me I am not a line I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. Uh. 
A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam, I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. my job. None of this would have happened. But I... I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So... That's what I did. Sounds like hell. You and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play.
ever do it on the water then, or... Those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Am... Um, is French for soul. <sighs> 
A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the Sixth. I found it, Bridges. More determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha uh, had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little E.E. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. 
like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, uh. it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. Somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead, rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Damn, I'm not gonna do this anymore. This is, this is getting annoying, god damn it. Pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are.
I wanted. I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. Set the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Gotta hit up the veteran porter.
A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. Bullets and a gun. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live.
Finally over. So y'all do but you don't actually want my lap or food. Animal. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another. Divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. 
President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great! Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up, and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position, so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common-law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. 
former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the President, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He. The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home, every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid. His baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he... He saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dead God! Yo. <laughs> But maybe, 
Maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing, now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. It's like a fresh job. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right, absolutely. The weather. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. You're gonna say that actually goes up your head with any I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. 
chasing. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait. There's something I have to tell you. Oh, God, what? I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. I certainly pulled the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not that, but not not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! That's another setting for the fucking music, god damn it. No, oh, I don't want it to be here, dead. God damn it. I can't turn off the music. Also, why, why is this not the section where we could have gone?
I get hit bad. never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Thanks for everything. This child is special. One of a kind. A BB candidate. Either that, or... A sacrifice. Foundation. A bridge. Brought you an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even outer space. You'll be out of there in no time. And the second all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Check then. They don't want a repeat of last year. The void out in Manhattan. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this is a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. 
Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. This belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. Can I make choose on life? Damn, dude. <laughs> An alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. The only person who's used that thing can actually put it in back and probably without slamming it back. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Shoot your wife in the fucking skull. I'm sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you.
Baby, can you hear me? Can you hear me? just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Is that a direct contradiction? Have we you heard it? Anyone use the word contravention before? that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Why is it getting off? Why is that fuzz boy? Fuzz bud. What up with you? What up with you? I just gone like the wrong way. I thought it's gone the wrong way.
Of us, but I'm, I'm sorry, Captain. Don't you got it? You two stay there and hold your fire. I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I 
ruin everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now back the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it. I'll keep him inside. Move, dumbass. See the sunset, the day is ending. Let that yawn out, there's no pretending. I will hold you and protect you. Same mistake. Be yourself. Be free. Oh, my God. Captain. I need you to hand it over. Shoot him, John. Let it go. Please. Shoot him. I gave you an order. Shoot him. You told me your name was Sam Porter. But you're Sam Bridges. bridge to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. Dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an up. 
obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. But are you sad? You bring people together. You're on their bridge. Six, hours empty. Oh, God. That'd be me, too. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. And this is when... <laughs> so, the main character is actually Clifford Unger's kid who was going to be one of the first bridge babies. I, I can't. Okay, good. To, to make sure I'm understanding this right. Sam Bridges, Sam Porter, Sam Porter Bridges, is a son of Clifford Unger, husband to Lisa Bridges, Sam was originally meant to be one of the first bridge babies from the sound of things. Who then, when Clifford tried to steal him away, took Sam out of the BB container, got shot, got Sam shot. And then from the sound of, and then from everything that was going on with the bullshit with Amelie slash Bridget slash Extinction Entity bitch, somehow saved Sam and made him into a patriot, which explains kind of why he always why whenever you die in game and you come back you that's always that baby on the inside of you that that's the baby you this entire time so the entire time these fucking visions we've had when we've plugged into Lou have been our own goddamn memories hit the Kojima everyone <laughs> That's how Wilson's supposed to spend. Hey, Cliff. Or Dad. Or...
this and leads to Tiny Baby on the beach. Yep. And Amelie comes around in five, four, three, two, one. Bitsicle, there she is. There you are. I'm right in the gut, too, jeez. This is why you don't just shoot willy-nilly at a person holding a hostage, you dumb bitch. Now I'm gonna have to do another fucking shower scene to see if I get that, uh, if that scar is on soon. I don't know, I don't remember that I'm at. I, th I think it is there, yeah. So I guess the real question is was there anything ever special about BB 28 or. You wanna go home? This fucking game. It's okay. I'm just gonna drown a baby now. Don't worry. I know the way. I wish I had a better explanation for this game. Ever. I mean, yeah, but the Mulligan games are good, too. I need to, I need to play through the Mulligan Gear series. But it also makes sense if anything made sense. Which, nothing does. Or at least there's a whole lot that doesn't get explained. No, 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 this, this is... Tiny Baby going back to, coming back to life. Trust me. Shit's crazy. And that's fair. I've only really played, uh... I played through most of Mulligan Rising years ago. I played through MGS5 a couple of times, and Mulligan Rising Revengeance. played anything else by him besides with me who cut the cord this and some hands on in the world of the living I would play it actually decommission I've heard of it but not play it now I'm gonna make him back in now he's back in speaking take him out of the pod I'll raise him as my own. So I'm just ready to open the pod to get a BB twenty eight. Come on, Luke, 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. How are you gonna give the kid alive? Y you didn't think that part through, Sam. Kids only seen how grow to be normal baby size and then be fed by a mother. You cannot do that. How are, how are you gonna feed the kid? What was the plan, Sam? What was the plan? The logistics of this are all fucked. And now you brought the baby out and yourself into the time for rain. <laughs> what was the plan, Sam? Oh, fine. This was just normal rain, not time for rain. Fine. But <laughs> what was the plan? How are you going to take care of the kid? Where was the logic here, dude? <laughs> so what is the second set of credits now? <laughs> Can I at least get these ones two in the morning? I want to go to bed. One set of unscoopable credits earlier. <laughs> God damn it, I want to go to bed. It's two in the morning. Let me sleep, Kojima. Said another game where Yuri Lowenthal and Liam O'Brien are each featured. That's not a Naruto game. Considering Yuri Lowenthal is Sasuke and Liam O'Brien is uh, Gara. I mean, they're just the goddamn credits. Thank you. 
Here we are, at the end of it all. So the baby was actually a girl, or I'm not sure I understand. It's just like that again. How are we going to get this kid alive? <laughs> or, or, or is there more i got to wait for? What the fuck are you awake? Because like I said, it's 2 a.m. for me. What the fuck time is it for you, man? You raided me at this time fucking yesterday. Or like midnight, one-ish. I don't even remember when it was. Oh, oh, it's, jeez, you are, you are far, you are fucking 17 hours ahead of me, Jesus. I'm trying to imagine, it, it, it is July 8th for you, right? Fair enough. I only one 18 times. And I never fucking vote shit. But I did help along on, the, on road, road restoration. 41 hours of play time, 20 hours of rest time, apparently. 25 critical bouts died ingested. 12,000 milliliters of blood and just transfused. 20, almost 28 and a half thousand milliliters of water. I need to do more road restoration. I also need to, you know, make more, make some of the items I haven't done yet. I've delivered almost nine tons of cargo of cost 562 items. I mean, yeah, definitely, for fuck's sake. Fuck, fuck that. So, so much cargo. Only ever sues BB 12 times. And he has 750 connections, max level connections, but I'm working on that shit. Yeah. The tune unlocked. Thanks for everything. Got 54,000 likes from NPCs and 70,000 from other players. Which is not surprising because, again, I set, up, I set up a lot of stuff. Music. Journal entries. Memories of Cliff, change the color scheme of the private room. I'm pretty sure when I come back in, I'll have like 10,000 goddamn car crystals or so. Tomorrow is in your hands. weeks earlier. And here's where you get to the sandbox of everything. Yay. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Wait a minute, is that, that's the AI voice, that, that's the only right well, now. I don't know. Look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized, and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. 
You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Hey, Sam, you sure you don't have any unfinished business? I got a ton. That's gonna be take for fucking ever, because that would require actually have people watching me. Which is always been my issue. My, my, my issue's always been having, like, I have enough followers and enough time streamed for the most part to hit affiliate, but the issue is actually having enough of an audience have an average of three people watching to actually get affiliate. Cause that shit sucks. But in any case, it's two in the morning. I wanna go the fuck to sleep. <sighs> yeah, I, I fucking bet that'd help, yeah. Which I mean, th th thanks, thanks for the read the other day, me too, man. Uh, you as well, DSR. Sleep well when you do, which I'm sure will be in, you know, five hours. So, you know, as I'm waking up, you're going to the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Probably. Uh, good night, man.